Hey guys, Diamond Goober here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Forge, what is Forge, and some Forge mods that I find very useful. Now, the first page I'm on here is files.minecraftforge.net. I will have a direct download in the description, so you don't have to go through all this process. But I'm going to use the installer, and it's going to put me on this add link, but I'll give you the direct link in the description. Usually there's some ad here, and you don't really want to click on it but I'm going to hit skip since I've got an ad blocker. I'm going to wait for this to download. And now that's here. You can see I've, I've done this a couple times. I have three times. So you want to double click on that. I'm going to bring up this mod installer. And it's going to say, welcome to the simple Forge installer, Forge 1.8.9-11-15, the version. And you're going to click install client and click OK. OK. One important thing is you're going to have the Minecraft launcher closed while you're doing this. Now, since I already have it installed, it doesn't matter. But another crucial thing is you're going to need to make a Minecraft installation with 1.8.9 before installing it. I'm pretty sure this is to like ensure that you own Minecraft so you don't install like an illegal copy. I'm not too sure, but just to be sure, you know, launch Minecraft vanilla. Now up next, I'll tell you about Forge. Forge is a mod loader that loads all sorts of mods so they all work properly. And here is a big list of mods made by Skier, a popular mod developer. And they even have a really cool mod called Essential, which is another way you can install Forge. You can click download and you can choose whatever it is. So we're doing Forge Minecraft 1.8.9. I click on that and then we open this. Now, oh, that's just the mod. So what we can do, since we installed this already, we can drag this into our mod folder later, which I'll show you. Or you can use this installer as a way to install Forge a different way. They both need you to have your launcher closed, but this is just another way to install it. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to put mods in your game. All right. Now that we've installed Forge, we're going to need to go down to our launcher, find and see that we have a new installation called Forge. We click on installations and then the folder next to it, it'll bring up a window with the directory. Now you're gonna scroll down until you find mods, which will be hard for me since I have a lot of folders in this. Here we found mods. We're gonna double click on that. And right now it's empty. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is if you installed Forge like how I did here by downloading it, you can drag it in by go like this. Oops, there we go. We can just drag it in, Essential Forge, and there it is. Now some other mods I'd recommend. Patcher is very good. And so we click on here and we do download. And all these links will be in the description so you can download all these mods that you might want. And I'll even have a folder with all of the mods I use personally. So you can just have some recommendations. Now I'm going to download Patcher. Keystrokes is really good. I'll hit keystrokes 8.1.2, and then we'll do auto GG. That's just three mods. You're probably going to want more than that, but just for today, I'm going to install these just to show you. You're going to want to take all these from your mods folder. You can copy them over, so you click copy. I'm on Windows 11. It's kind of weird. And then you paste them in here. Paste. So as long as they're in this mods folder in the right directory, they will be launched with your Minecraft. I'm going to go back to my Minecraft launcher, and we're going to click on the new installation that it made. I'm going to hit play, and it's going to give you this warning showing that your game has been modified. Now, that is something to be aware of. You know, these are mods. They can run code. So be sure you know what mods you're using. I personally trust Skier because I've looked at the code on GitHub. It's a trustworthy source. Lots of people use their mods. But just be aware that that's a thing. Now I'm going to launch Minecraft and we're going to see that it has those mods installed. Now I'm going to wait a second for this to load up. There might be an essential loading screen. That's normal. It's just how the mod sets this up. There might be an essential loading screen while you're booting up Minecraft. That will be for only the first time and when it needs to update. 
it's normal. And also, Essential might come bundled with mods from Skier, because it's a very important mod for the mods to function. Alright, now that we've booted up Minecraft, it's going to tell you, Welcome to Essential. Now you can just basically click next through all of these things. It tells you all the cool things. It's got cosmetics, a lot of which are free, but there are some paid ones. You can invite people to your single player worlds, and you can even have multiple signed in accounts at one time. Now there's going to be a terms and service agreement that you need to say that you're 13 or older. You just click that if, if you are, or you can continue without accepting if you cannot do that. Since I am, I can click done, and then it'll bring you here. Now, as you can see, I have a one icon here, meaning one of my friends is on a server. So they've got a friends tab here showing where people are. There's a discover tab for new servers you might not have seen. As you can see on my character, I've got skis on the back, which I've paid for. And we can just click on here and play Minecraft like normal. All right, now that I've loaded into Minecraft, I'm going to set my language to English real quick because I had it on pirate. Now you might see some things like keystrokes in the top right and other things that you can configure. So I'm going to do slash keystrokes and I can move it around. I like it in the bottom right, personally, just to have it like that. And I can customize it how I want. Now some mods you definitely want to customize are patcher, patcher, and then you can change all sorts of settings. I'd recommend you look through these personally. As there's a lot of things to look at. Another mod you will probably want is Optifine. It's really good for performance in 1.8. And there are lots of plenty of mods I'll recommend in the description. As I said, I'll leave a pack there, which is just the mods I use. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I can make more tutorials like this, even on how to make mods. And one last thing, I do have my own mods that I make. You can look at my GitHub. I've got um, colored chat, which makes it so people can talk in colored chat. I made a video about that. And there's AP math. I'll put links to both of those in the description. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what do you think I could do for another tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.